Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of SimPlays. And today we're going to be talking about guild and how to recruit lots of it. Because let's face it, making guild isn't always that easy in the game. And a lot of the time you're going to need things like a 50 craft, uh, or many 50 crafts to have all the abilities. And you have to spend lots of money on materia and gear and all the rest of it. And a lot of the time you have to spend a hell of a lot of money to be able to get the craftsmanship or the... Um, control to be able to actually make a lot of the items, especially four star items. So although they've made things easier, it's still you're gonna be spending a lot of money on material and a lot of fails and a lot of grievance and a lot of just arc. So today I'm gonna to be showing you a way to basically make money without having to do any of that. You're gonna be leveling things to uh one craft is seventeen and another thing to fifteen. Um and it's really easy. Uh, you can do this with, uh, you don't even have to have a 50 Battlecraft class. So you can do this, I think, comfortably at level 30. So first of all, you want to make your way to the Leather Workers Guild. And you take the original quest from this guy, and you can basically make all the items to get to level 15 from the guild supplier. So if you open them up, or if you've got a, a, a leather supplier or a, a vendoring supplier in your free company house they will also have all the items you will need and everything here will basically be able to get you to level 15 pretty easily so you want to pick up leather working and you want to get that to around 17 uh, the higher the better but 17 is the minimum you need then the next thing you want to do is you want to make your way over to Alder, your way to the miners guild which is in the Colosseum, right at the very bottom and then there's an aetherite to it so if you've got all the aetherites it's pretty crip trip from the main aetherite and if you just lead your way down here to the Colosseum, it's right at the bottom here you're going to want to pick up mining and you want to level that to 19 now once you've picked that up you want to basically uh, just grind away outside of the um, the gates of Alder in Western Tunnel in uh, Horizon and Blackbush once you've done that, and you've got those things to 19 and 17 respectively, you can make your way to Drybone. And this is going to become either your most favourite place or your most hated place, because everything revolves around Drybone. Now, with this place, you really... It's, it can be a little competitive, but most of the time, not many people know this method. And if you're willing to put the work in, you will always come out on top, and there's enough for everyone to go around. So what you want to do is you want to mount up, and you want to go to this spot here, which is 1824 on the coordinates. And depending on what you want to do, you're going to be looking for the sexiest of little beasts in the dry bone Sahara or desert, or whatever it is. And it's these guys you're looking for. Now there's several different spots that I use. This one is pretty good, but really my favourite one I will make my way over to now. And as I said, you can use any class for this, so um, ranged is usually, usually faster, but not necessary. And as you can see, I'll, I'll do this on Ninja today. So this is the spot you want to get to. So there's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six goats. Six goats. So you just basically want to kill these. Uh, you just want to kill these in order and you want to kill them as fast as you can. And uh, what's going to happen is you're going to start to get Algo leather. Algo skin, sorry. That's four there, just from three. And this is what you're really looking to be getting, uh, as much as you can of. You will get things like Algo chucks and Algo and horns. The horns do sell for a very good amount, so keep hold of those. Don't throw them. The chucks vendor for around three gil, so when you get a couple of them, you will be starting to see, uh, you know, a relative return when you're selling stack, like, multiple stacks of 99. Now, if you want to be lazy, you can just kill these six in, repet in repetition and just keep doing that. Or, if you want to be dangerous Dan, you can basically, and I'll switch to bar for this one, you can basically run around these entire camps. As you can see, there's no one here. And um, the reason that this is one of the best ways to make gill, in my opinion, and I mean in my opinion, because this is how I made majority of my gill when I was levelling up, um, and for the longest time when I had time to play the game, this is how I made all my gill. Uh, there's no other reason to do it. See, I've just got another four there. So I've roughly got about 12 now. Um, it should be 14 now. And you can just basically run around and just destroy all of these goats. And uh, you'll get quite a lot. And they drop a very large amount. And it's, it's not very often you will see them drop um, low amounts of this. So I've only been here a couple of seconds now. And as you can see, I've got 23. 23 already and basically what you can do is you can just run around in this circle here and kill all these goats uh, you can mount up between obviously um, and you can just kill through all these and completely do a loop um, 
once you've done enough that you're comfortable with, what you want to do is you want to mount up and you need to go so far away for the other thing that you need. And you want to switch to minor. Now you want to switch to minor because the item that we're going to be looking for is um, a level uh, 19 item that can be found just here. As I said, really far. And the item is Illumin. Now Illumin sells pretty damn well anyway. And there's going to be four nodes over here. And that's located in 1720. Now you want to farm Illumin. As I said, this will level your craft while you're doing this as well. So you'll be getting a relative amount of um, Illumin, lev mining leveling, and you'll be doing you'll be leveling your uh, leatherworking as well. I leveled from uh, 17 leatherworker, I think, to 33 just using this method within a couple of days, um, and that was just passively as well. And if you're willing to put the work in, you will get a lot out of this. So basically, you want to run around and do these four nodes, and basically just continuously farm Illumin as much as you're comfortable. Um, this will get easier as thing goes on, and that's when things like retainers come into play. So these nodes respawn as you kill, I think, the second or third node in the circle. So you basically want to repeatedly kill them in order. Uh, not kill them, but mine them in order. Um, so what you want to do is, obviously, you get four out of this. Um, once you hit higher levels, you can obviously use King's Yield, King's Yield 2, uh, to increase your um, how many you get per uh, per hit. So I think you can end up getting something, I think it's 15, um, from one node. And there's always one node that gives you, I think it's this one, that gives you an additional hit. So, yeah, this one, attempt plus one. So what we'll use is, um, if I can find it, uh, King's Yield 2. So we'll use that, and that increases the amount we get by three. So we'll go one hit. Three, six, nine, oh, it's even more. Twelve, oh, okay, fifteen. Fifteen. So, we've only been doing that a couple of seconds, and I think I had some already, but we have um, like, uh, 43 lumen. And it didn't take long. It's one, leather, one skin to one lumen. So, if you've got a stack of 99 of each, that's 99 Algard leather. Now, that's the thing that you're going to be selling. That's the thing that's going to be your bread and butter. And that's the thing that you're going to be making your money from. So, without spending, I think it would cost around 10,000 gil to level up buying all the materials from a vendor to get your craft to 15. So, that will get it to 15. And you need two more levels, which isn't too bad. If you were to do low level levels, you'd get that in no time. If you already have these crafts, and a lot of people do, but they obviously don't have the material all the time, so we're going to be looking at Algo leather. Now, the leather is something that's required for almost all crafts. It's something that's pretty consistently needed. Now, a stack of 99 at the average of 380, which seems to be the average here, is going to sell for 37k on the Ragnarok server. Now, this is in the week as well, so things are a little bit less expensive than normal. On the weekend, it usually goes to a little bit more. And that's pretty good money considering you've put absolutely nothing into it. You've not paid for anything, you've not covered any cost of materials, so that's 37k profit. And if you're just starting the game or if you're low level, this is quite a hefty sum and will really help later. And as you can see, it didn't take me very long at all to be able to make as uh, make quite a few. And our gold horns, as I said, sell for quite a lot. I mean, this is 200, 300 gil that for each. I mean, there's eight of them there. Um... Once you've leveled things up a little bit more, and things have become a little, you know, you're a little bit higher level, and your leather working's up, once you reach about 26, you can be on to toad leather. Now, toad leather is a lot more expensive. It's a little bit more tedious to grind, but it's a lot more worth it. So, if we look for toad leather, on my server, it's selling for 850 each. So, as I mentioned earlier, you're going to want to have a lot of earth shards to be able to supply this huge amount of leather you're going to be making. So, algo leather requires only one shard, so that's not too bad. And the other one requires a little bit more. It requires two. So, you're going to want to be... You know, you're going to want to... If you don't want to buy it from the auction house, and a lot of people don't, you can always grind it yourself. There's an amazing little spot in North Shroud, and it's located at 824, uh, 2824. 
and if you look it's very close together and you can get earth shards from here so you can, only, you can do this at level 1, so if you really wanted, you could come here at level 1 when you had Miner and start grinding your Earth Shards now. You want to basically start um, getting through and grinding these out um, when you need them, if you, as I said, if you don't want to... Uh if you don't want to buy them from the auction house. So you can just basically just grind away and these nodes are really close together so you're not going to be doing too much distance travelling between the two, between the four of them and uh, wasting a lot of time. You can just literally get in and you, as you can see one's just respawned there. It's usually helpful if you have some music on or something like that but as I said this is you put zero money into this so you're not making a risk with your investment you're doing this and you're grinding. If you put the work in you will get the money. Now, if you wanted to move on to a little bit more advanced and a little bit more greediness and you want to move on to Toad Leather, then the place I advise you grind it is here. It's at 15.7 in, in Horizon Western Thanalan. Now, there's going to be, uh, I think, there's quite a few laughing toads here. And basically, it doesn't take too long to do the rotation grind of them all. Um, if you use a class, as I said, they're only level 23. So they're not that much more difficult than the goats. So you really don't have to put too much effort in and you, they drop a uh, Gigatoad skin. Now Gigatoad skin, if you're lucky as well, will, can sometimes be quite cheap on the auction house, even though the toe leather isn't. Um, it's not as much of a frequent drop as it is with the um, Algoad skin, but you're making money's return anyway because of the monetary difference in, within the skins. Now you've got these three here, two in the water, uh, one at the top and then two on the far back. And you just wait for these to respawn. We didn't get any this time, but that can happen. And then sometimes you'll get 20 on one ground, and some, you know, some, it's one of those things. But sometimes people will put them on for quite cheap, and that's pretty useful. And you just basically buy those up, um, apply a lumen, and there you go. Now, another trick you can do once you've got things a little bit more stable is you can be even more extra lazy with your Illumin, so then you only only be farming your leather. So, and this involves your retainer. Now, if one of your retainers is a miner, then this is the only, this you can do this. So, if I go to my mining retainer, pri my price is better, and I assign him a venture. I want to go to mining, and then I want to go to 16 to 20, and I want to assign him to get an Illumin. It cost one venture. Ventures can be bought from your grand company seal vendor, and they cost 1,000 for five. Um, and you want to send him out to get Illumin. And he will bring, if you'll mind, once he gets to a high enough level, he will eventually bring back 30 in 40 minutes for one venture. And this doesn't sound like a lot, but when if you're sending him out every 40 minutes, you're bringing back a lot of Illumin. And it's something you don't have to do. So you can be doing other things, and he will always be bringing you back a constant supply of Illumin. So if I send him out to do that, he'll be back in 40 minutes with 30 Illumin. At first, I think when he's leveling up, I think it's 15 he brings back. So it's not as much, but it's still something. And he gains experience while he's doing it. And you're going to be getting money and grinding things out. So you can also um, quick synth all of these. So you haven't got to spend forever at your computer. You can just leave it to synthesize, let them go at it, go and make a cup of tea, go and have dinner, go and talk to whoever. Come back and you've got a load of leather and a load of pre-made guild to sell on your auction house. I really hope this guide helped you. And please let me know in the comments if you have any uh, tips or anything to make this faster. or And how you found the guide and how it's working for you. I wish you all the gill in the world and hope that everyone enjoys this guide and makes it useful. If you find it useful, please comment, like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. Goodbye.